Today I want to take a look at Power Apps Portal and how to look up a Dataverse table from a Canvas app. So with Power Apps Portals, we uh, create our portal inside of Power Apps by doing new app and selecting portal. These can take about 40 minutes to provision. And once they're online, you'll see a new item with a type of portal available on the right. And you'll also see a model-driven portal management option. Portal management takes us into a lot of the settings uh, to go with the portal itself. Now, a default portal has a couple of different pages, has a couple of basic data types. And for our purposes, it has a list of contacts. Now, contacts are kind of a core entity within Power Apps portals. This essentially are people on the outside, external parties authenticated with Facebook, Google, Twitter, OAuth, uh, logins, or they can sign up with a registration code and choose their own password, email a link with an invite. But contact is a core record. It's an essential record that you really have to have for Power Apps Portal to work. Now, if we wanted to read some of this data from a Canvas app, there are connections and there are some good ways of matching them together. If we go in and check out our Power Apps Portal itself, there's kind of a sign in, a menu, welcome page, different things like this. Um, yeah, and back over to the management side, we have web files, web pages, lists, uh, redirects. There's there's a lot of different choices available. And from the main screen itself, we can get into tables under data. And this gets us the Dataverse. And you'll see that contact is here as a table of data that will exactly match the contacts that we saw over here. So you can manage contacts through your portal management app. It has a larger toolbar, more rich GUI. But it's also here in make.powerapps.com. And that is a URL you want to memorize, make.powerapps.com. And this will let you see all of the raw data. Now, from a Canvas app perspective, one of the things that we can do is create a Canvas app that reads from Dataverse or Common Data Service CDS. So once we're inside of CDS, we can add a data connection on the left-hand side here and point to Power Apps Portal. It is part of the connectors for Dataverse. And really, because we're already in the Power Apps environment, you can search pretty easily for connectors. We can do see all tables. It kind of knows what's already out there. And by searching for contacts, I was able to go ahead and add a connection to contacts. We can do a click and refresh. On the canvas itself, I was able to do insert data table at the top here, connect that over to the uh, data source for contacts, and then use the fields control to go ahead and select which fields we wanted to display. And there's a whole lot of fields on the default contacts table. We've got everything for email, street address, nicknames, instant message, telephone, you name it, time zones, they're all in there. So we picked out a couple of fields just to show tables uh, available and put in a date picker. Defaults to today, lets you select a date. Now, the more interesting part is this formula right here, which we'll go ahead and open, and we'll bring it in where we can take a closer look at it with some indented parentheses. So this is a lookup function looking at the contacts to tell me which ones are created on a given day. It's a way of sort of matching data, looking at CDS or Dataverse and bringing that into a Canvas app. So here we're going to run a lookup against the contacts table. We are going to change the Dataverse CDS column here, and we're going to convert it into a standardized format. Now, the reason we want to have standardized text is that it becomes easier to compare. The format that we're given, we have hours, minutes, seconds, this is way too precise to actually do matching against. So we want to get this in a more generic format where we can go ahead and compare it against the date that the user has selected. So we're doing the same cast date conversion function, text on both sides, MMDDYY, that's fine. 
and that gives us a standard format to compare on both. And these are both date data types coming in. So selected date is coming from the picker, and over here created on is coming from Dataverse. So in the end, we'll go ahead and hit play on this. We can come in, select June 8th, hit OK, pairs up with John Smith, that's it right there. And I guess in theory, there's an account for April 6th. Coming back is empty. That'd be this uh, third one here. I guess that's like a system account. It's kind of interesting the way that's done. But yeah, come back to June 8th. And you can see it populates John Smith. Now there are two matches. Lookup function gives you the first that matches. So in this case, the first row was John. That's what it matched with, and that's what it goes with. Um, but it is possible to bring in Dataverse tables use them as part of a lookup function, and connect them to Canvas apps. Thanks for watching.